Thursday, August 6th, The Daily Word. Well, we're not going to have a specific word today. It's a couple of historical points and a couple of acknowledgments for birthdays. First, on this date in 1945, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. This was an American B-29 bomber named the Enola Gay, and it released the bomb, which was nicknamed Little Boy, at 8.16 in the morning. 62,000 buildings were destroyed by that blast, which then was the equivalent of 12 million tons of TNT. It was the beginning of the end of World War II. Germany had already surrendered and Japan would follow after the United States dropped a second bomb on the Nagasaki city three days later. It was also on this date in 1965 that President Lyndon Johnson signed into action the Voting Rights Act. It was one of the most far-reaching pieces of civil rights legislation that had ever been passed in this country. The 15th Amendment to the Constitution, enacted in 1870, prohibited states from denying male citizens the right to vote based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. But black voters were still turned away at the polls, and sadly, that is still going on today. There is still massive voter oppression. Right now, before the House, is the opportunity to reconstruct the Voting Rights Act and to please, please, please rename it the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. Okay, now to the happier celebrations. It was on this day in 2015 that at the Public Theater, opening to rave reviews was the Broadway premiere of Hamilton. Oh, I'm not throwing away my shot. I love this book. I love the show. Thank you, Disney, for filming it so that all of us could see it who couldn't get to a city to see it in person. It's an amazing book with incredible historical references that are rather reflective of what's going on today. I mean, who lives, who dies, who tells one story. If you haven't seen Hamilton, please, please find a way to do so. I wish I could send you the CD to listen to first, well, but I'm sure you can find it on iTunes or YouTube. It was also on this day, August 6, 1911, in the city of Jamestown, New York, that my idol, one of the few, Lucille Ball was born. I, I, I know it sounds corny, but I love Lucy. I have since I was a kid. I still do. Watching her shows, continues to make me laugh. I continue to see the creative genius that went into her work. She and Desi Arnaz, her husband at the time, transformed what we know as television and many of the comedic shows, the sitcoms that we know today are in part due to their creativity, wisdom, and how they did productions. Lucy was a genius who had an amazing knack for comedy from uh, stomping grapes or the, the, the assembly line with the candies in eating that or, you know, the vitamin of regimen. Brilliant. And even on days when I'm feeling really out of sorts or glum, I can watch an I Love Lucy episode and just feel so safe, so happy, and so grateful to this amazing, talented comedian. So thank you. I still love you, Lucy. Well, thank you for watching The Daily Word. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay sane, stay you.